highway, uh, Walt Triana Highway. I want you to be in a safe place now. This is coming on quickly. It's in Limestone County now, but you need to go ahead and be in that safe place because look, it is not far away now from Harvest, from Tony, from Monrovia. We want you to go ahead and be prepared. Uh, the hook echo here is coming all the way around from Thatch on the northern edge of the county up here, close to the Elkmont Thatch exit on the interstate. That's where you have hail and heavy rain. You may not get much rain or hail at all as this thing comes in, but the possible tornado is right there close to the interstate exit 354, uh, Highway 31, Interstate 65, moving up Alabama 251. So if you're on 251, that'd be places like Oakdale, uh, then uh, uh, coming on up here to some of the communities uh, just to the north and west of Capshaw and just north of the East Limestone area on Highway 72. Uh, so, uh, again, I can't stress it enough. We have a potentially large, violent tornado on the ground uh, very close to Athens. It's northeast of downtown now. It's very much on top of I-65. So if you're on I-65 and you're listening to us on WDRM 102.1, stop where you are. Do not come anywhere near that Athens sports complex. Stay to the north or stay south of it. It's going to take about 10 minutes for this thing to entirely clear away from Interstate 65, and there may be debris on the highway. There may be a traffic stop here for a long time. So pack your patience if you're coming up and down I-65. This is going to be a rough go. Uh, that's exit 354. The Athens Sportsplex sits right there. There's Oakdale, uh, the community there on the east side of Athens that was hit so hard back in 1974. This is close by to that. Quarry Road, Smith Road, Johnson Street, Compton Road. It's on you now. It's on the north end of Lindsay Lane. So this is probably just a tad north of Lindsay Lane Baptist Church. Moving northeast. Ben, you look like you got something. All right, we have a uh, new tornado warning now that doesn't include Madison County till uh, 545. Doppler indicated storm spotters tracking a large, extremely dangerous tornado, the same one we've been talking about the last several minutes, moving to the uh, east and northeast at about 50 miles per hour. And I also have some video from my Facebook page. I'm going to see if I can get someone to log on to their Facebook account back in the newsroom and see if they can, uh, they're going to work on that, have the video of the tornado that crossed the Tennessee River earlier around Colbert and Lauderdale counties. Very, very impressive video uh, from Christy Jordan's um, southern plate. I think that's where it's coming from, but her husband did video the tornado crossing the Tennessee River. We're going to have that up as soon as possible, but we are, are still getting reports uh, of, of debris falling from the sky from this particular tornado now moving through Athens and Limestone County now getting in the western um, Madison County here just in the next few minutes. So again, this is a tornado emergency. We need everyone in their safe place. You should already be there. Stay there until this system moves right on by. Okay, uh, the National Weather Service issuing a tornado emergency for Limestone County and Madison counties. Based on the representation from Armor Radar, we're seeing an encouraging sign right here. It looks like it might be weakening a little bit. That doesn't mean the tornado is gone. It just means it might not be quite as intense as it was back down the line. So you go from what might have been a, an extremely strong, large, violent tornado to potentially a smaller tornado. I'm not comfortable saying come out of your safe place at all with anything like that. The new tornado warning includes Meridianville, Hazel Green, Harvest, Tony, Monrovia, uh, all communities in between in northern Madison County, the places that we have called your name so many times over the years, you're under the gun for this again. So from Athens northeast on Highway 251, it's basically on 251 near Oakdale now, moving northeast just like that, coming over here toward Highway 53, uh, and then uh, toward uh, County Line Road, uh, which is Old Railroad Bed Road, north of Highway 72, uh, and then uh, Capshaw Harvest, Tony Monrovia, you need to be in a safe place. Uh, what you see right here, this is the dual pole image, the correlation coefficient that we've been talking about. The debris signature does not look quite as intense as it did uh, there as it was over Athens. And this is a slightly delayed product. This is from the next round. So it's on top of Athens in that image. The actual tornado is now closer to Highway 251, which is that white line uh, that's coming uh, from the uh, northeast edge of the city of Athens down toward the southeast. Here's the live armor image. I still see po uh, the possibility of a tornado right there. Highway 251, safe place right now. Brandon, let's zoom in tighter on this part of Limestone County, and then we'll jog over into Madison County and get a little more specific there. Places like Oakdale, I still see a possible tornado right there. Uh, and this is coming up again, 251. This black line is actually a very, very dark red line. That's uh, where, where we have the 
first tornado warning polygon. The second one now supersedes that, and it does include a large part of Madison County, too, especially the northern part of Madison County. Uh, this is Interstate 65. Exit 354 is right there. In about 10 minutes, you'll be able to travel up and down Interstate 65 again with no problem, but this thing is still so close that uh, I, I think we may have a tornado threat uh, that's right there near the interstate. There may be some gusty winds coming in behind it, too, in what we call the rear flank downdraft. So we don't want you driving on Interstate 65 or uh, really on Highway 251. Uh, or, and then you go down the line a little bit, County Line Road, Old Railroad Bed, uh, then uh, Wall Triana Highway in northwestern Madison County. You need to stay in your safe place. Uh, this, again, the dual pole image. What you see over here is uh, Storm Hunter 19. Uh, I'm not sure where they are. Okay, that, let's take that full. Let's take that full. They're looking at damage on Highway 72 between Rogersville and Athens. Uh, that's a power pole that's down on the highway. Uh, it's really hard to tell how strong the wind might have been right there, but uh, there's definitely damage from that confirmed tornado on the ground that was on Highway 72 between Rogersville and Athens. And remember, the debris may still be falling, even if there's not a tornado with it now. There still may be debris falling. So let's go back to the live radar image and uh, watch this thing as it's coming across eastern limestone county and uh, moving toward madison county brandon's put the roads on here again brazette road uh, presnell road uh draw ball road uh anywhere out here around the uh the prison you need to be in a safe place oakdale this is now passing a little bit to the northeast of where you are uh, there's our velocity couplet that's now moving a little east of interstate 65 and you can see what looks like it's just wrapping up uh, it's you can almost see the twisting in the velocities now that it's east of Athens, we've also got uh, heavy rain that's following this, so it's not going to be an easy cleanup process or a search and rescue process if that is uh, what is needed in western limestone county because of the amount of rain that's so falling. Jerry Hayes. I uh, just got information from the National Weather Service. They're reporting baseball size hail at the Elkmont Fire Department, and also the Clements Fire Department has suffered major damage from a direct hit. Uh, apparently from that tornado as it moved through the area. So the Clements Fire Department, major damage, apparently took a direct hit, Jason. All right, thank you, Jerry. So uh, that kind of confirms what we were seeing there from Storm Hunter 19. This thing has done a lot of damage. And look at all the heavy rain that's still falling back here to the west around Blackburn and Cartwright and O'Neill and Ripley and on Highway 72. It makes it really tough on first responders, especially when uh, they may have been hit themselves. There's the possible tornado. Does not look as well defined as it did just a little while ago. In fact, it seems like it may have taken a little jog over toward the left, and uh, that can sometimes be a sign of weakening. So that's uh, exit 361, the Thatch Elkmont exit. Uh, this is Interstate 65. That's exit 354. If you're in Athens and you're listening to us on the radio or by chance on Live Alert 19, you're live streaming, uh, the threat of a tornado in downtown Athens and points west is now over in south parts of Athens down toward Tanner there's no threat of a tornado right now but we still have a lot more of these storms to go later on tonight our potential tornado would be right in this area Black Road uh, down toward Highway 251 still moving to the northeast it does not look as impressive as it did I'm not really comfortable saying that's a great sign because that means there's no tornado there probably still is at least a wall cloud a lot of strong winds and uh, maybe even a small tornado still passing along uh, the highway here on the highway 251 so brandon's still popping on roads there uh, yarborough road it's raining hard but the threat of a tornado is over on yarborough road west of interstate 65. Uh, we are still uh, on the eastern side of the highway here on the eastern side of 65. Uh, what looks like may have been uh, the original tornado is right here close to black road but i think i see additional rotation developing down to the south ben we're getting reports now from the National Weather Service. The Clemens Fire Department received major damage from a direct hit earlier from, uh, per multiple reports, also getting a report from uh, Elkmont there in Limestone County of uh, some baseball-sized hail as well. So uh, these reports continue to come on in. And you know, Kenny Duckett, he's, he's trying to find the storm, and he, he's working on it, and hopefully we can get back to him and also – uh, Mike Wilhelm as well, so we'll have to wait and see on that, but we're, we're watching Madison and uh, Limestone counties here. All right, thanks, Ben. Uh, Brandon, let me toss it over to you for just a moment. Uh, you've been analyzing the radar. What do you see? Yeah, we're, we're not going to forget about uh, other places in the Tennessee Valley. Right now, of course, the main imminent concern is uh, northeastern Limestone County, eventually into northwestern uh, Madison County, but the, the encouraging thing is the, it looks like the uh, signatures have 
decreased somewhat. It's still not an all clear type of situation and not time to cancel the tornado warnings. If you're in these areas and near Black Road, near northeast of Oakdale, uh, near Thatch, you still need to be taking your tornado precautions, especially if you're near Drawbaugh, Black Road, Yarborough Road, Holt Road, and those intersections uh, there in northeastern Limestone County. But further to the south and to the west, uh, we're also watching some very strong thunderstorms continue to develop. And uh, again, remember, we still have additional shear and available energy for these storms to continue to po pose a tornadic threat throughout the rest of the afternoon. So let's go back over, if we can, uh, production booth, uh, back over to um, Armor Storm Vision, and we'll take a little bit broader view from one of the high top, our high top radar view, and look at these strong storms. So if, if this storm is moving through Russellville, possibly uh, producing some very large hail. And uh, near uh, Town Creek, southwest of Town Creek, where we did have the uh, previous tornado warning, we do have additional, t uh, some type of shear, actually that's the correlation coefficient property. So we're gonna switch over to the velocity mode here in just a moment. Uh, but a little bit of shear, no tornado warning, no actually severe thunderstorm warning at the moment. Uh, but so we're gonna watch these storms as they form to the uh, west and southwest of the uh, main development, uh, which is of course, uh, northeastern Limestone County uh, as it continues to move to the northeast at about 35 miles per hour, eventually into Madison County. You just, uh, this kind of gives you a, s a sense of the scale and the scope of the threat we're dealing with across the area, across the Tennessee Valley. That will continue. We're just now starting to enter that, that time frame of great concern and uh, newest radar information coming in. Let's go back to our live armor radar. That's been our best bet with uh, the uh, s rapidly developing tornado situation, northeastern Limestone County. Zooming back into the, um, the signature, which is getting harder and harder to detect. That doesn't mean it's gone away completely. That doesn't mean a tornado is still not possible, but it is starting to improve just somewhat. Uh, but we want you to still continue to take your tornado precautions. It's lowest level of your home, south of Thatch, near Thatch, uh, near the exit 354 area, northeast of uh, I-65, east of I-65 in those locations as the latest data comes in. And that is the lowest level scan. Black Road, hey, we're not done with this yet, I don't think. Black Road, uh, Drawbar Road, there's still that, that signature is still there, Jason. All right, uh, thanks, Brandon. And while we're looking at this, I want to mention that uh, there is a tornado warning up for Marion County. Uh, a state trooper, an Alabama state trooper, has reported a multiple vortex tornado on the ground west of Hamilton. That will ultimately affect potentially Franklin and Lawrence counties on the south end of where all this has already happened. So we'll go down there in just a moment. Uh, we still have uh, what looks like a maybe a new development down here along Sardis Springs Road, Highway 251. I really think what we've seen is the first tornado may have dissipated. A secondary tornado could be developing within this supercell. So uh, let's kind of back up here and uh, look at this on a bigger scale so that we can give some all clears and give some folks uh, the idea of where you still have to worry about it. We have a tornado warning in effect for Limestone County and for Madison County. That one supercell is uh, really wrapped up here and it's moving in the direction of Harvest. So if you're in Harvest, I want you to go to your safe place right now. Uh, farther west, we have new cells that are developing over northern Lawrence County. We also have another heavy cell over here west of Athens and we'll have to keep a close eye on that one too. Uh, in the Colbert County and Franklin County, new storms are forming there as well. All this is slowly marching to the northeast and it's going to take a long time. We may be looking at seven or eight more hours of severe weather threat across the Tennessee Valley before this can finally move out of here later on tonight after midnight and we will be here with you through the duration of all of it. Now I know not everybody lives in Limestone County or Madison County. The reason that we're focused on this area is because that's where the biggest danger is to life and property at the moment. Uh, as we get new tornado warnings we will shift attention back and forth among those but uh, while we have only one tornado warning in progress uh, it's uh, rather fortunate that we can focus on one at a time instead of having multiple warnings in progress. So that's, uh, that's a really good thing. Uh, it's a bad thing that it still looks the way it does though. So let's go back in tight on it. Uh, a possible tornado now northeast of Athens. If you're in Athens, Coxey, Cartwright, O'Neill, uh, the threat is over for you, but we still have this uh, possible tornado just northeast of Oakdale. Uh, it's now about uh, seven miles west of the Madison County line. Uh, this would be County Line Road, uh, which is old railroad bed north of US 72 going up in the direction of Capshaw. So uh, if you're in Capshaw or Harvest, tornado that does not look as well defined as it did about 20 minutes ago when it was on the west side of Athens is uh, still moving in that direction. We still have strong circulation 
in the uh, lower levels of this thunderstorm, and that's an indicator that uh, we may be still dealing with a tornado threat in Limestone County on Highway 251. Uh, McKee Road, uh, Brandon again popping on all these highways for us so we can see it. Draw Ball Road, Black Road. Uh, this is now starting to pass a little bit east of the uh, initial section of Black Road where this was a trouble spot, but uh, you're still not out of the woods yet. If you're over here on Highway 31 in the north part of Athens, uh, if you're on uh, 127 going up toward Elkmont, the tornado threat is over for you. You can come out of that safe place. But if you're in northeastern Limestone County, north of East Limestone, uh, over here close to the prison on Highway 251, McKean Road, uh, McKee Road, I should say, Woolly Springs Road, and then uh, over here toward Harvest, uh, I really can't stress it enough. You've got to be in that safe place right now. This is a life-threatening situation. It's not as well defined as it was. Doesn't mean that there's not a tornado down with it. And uh, fortunately, we've not heard any reports of damage since this thing has left Athens. And that, that's, a, that's a good thing. And uh, <coughs> it's, uh, it, it may not be a great thing because if there has been damage, it means we just don't know about it yet. Uh, if, it's, uh, if there is no damage, then that's where the positive news comes from. Maybe this thing is a loft now as it's moving over uh, Highway 251. Uh, and again, Black Road, Draw Ball Road, Bain Road, all communities out here east of Oakdale on Highway 251, you need to be in a safe place right now. If you're traveling on Interstate 65, you can now pass freely through Limestone County with no threat of a tornado on I-65, north or south of Athens to Elkmont, all the way to the Giles County line. Uh, this thing does not appear to have the same kind of strength that it did just a little while ago. But again, it's something to watch down to the south. Sometimes you can have cells uh, that uh, become very strong. Uh, you get these strongly rotating thunderstorms. They dissipate, and then a new one starts to develop on the southwest flank. So that's something we've got to pay attention to uh, for the next uh, 20, 30 minutes or so with this uh, new storm developing uh, that's uh, just a little bit southeast of downtown Athens, uh, closer to Highway 72, and that one would ultimately come over here closer to East Limestone, uh, toward the East Limestone community. Uh, and again, uh, Highway 72 itself, the tornado, the original tornado is well north of uh, US 72. It's uh, north and east of Lindsay Lane. There's no additional tornado threat right there around Lindsay Lane Baptist, the Publix, downtown Athens, uh, the Athens High School area, Athens State University. Uh, no, heard no reports of damage from inside Athens. And if you guys see some of that, just uh, go ahead and chime. Uh, Jerry has a report. We did get a, an email just a moment ago from one of our friends over in Athens, Holly Hallman who uh, does a lot of uh, communications work for the city of Athens. She is the uh, communications specialist for the city of Athens. She is uh, saying that they were taking shelter a few minutes ago, so she's not exactly sure what all they've got. They are checking on reports right now and outages, and she's going to give us an update as soon as she can. But she says that most of what she is hearing is coming from the Limestone County Sheriff's Department, and there have been some reports of damage west of Athens, They've got reports of trees and lines down, some homes damaged, and there have been some injuries. Now, once again, this is preliminary reports. Uh, Holly is sending this word along to us, but this is what she is hearing from the Limestone County Sheriff's Department right now. Clarissa, you had some reports of damage over around Coxie, I believe, too. Absolutely, and also in Limestone County, the Bay Hill Marina that's on Wheeler Lake just outside of Athens, also some homes. We've gotten some reports in the, the chat also about the debris falling. Also, this uh, camera that we, w that we had up was from Athens State, so we're trying to make sure that we give you the opportunity to see some live pictures from around our area just to give you an idea of what's going on. But right now, we are getting some damage reports from uh, Limestone, from Athens, so definitely be careful and, and heed the advice of our meteorologists. Guys, we are keeping uh, an eye on our email and also on the National Weather Service chat right now, but uh, if anything else comes in, we of course will be standing by to pass it along to you. Jason? All right, uh, thank you, Jerry and Clarissa, and uh, tell you what, while we are looking at this, uh, Brandon, let's just back out, let's hit view number one, and let's look at the entire Tennessee Valley, because there is new development that's rapidly happening in in Lawrence County. Uh, that storm is very concerning. This one, a large multiple vortex tornado on the ground west of Hamilton, Alabama right now. Brandon, I want to zoom in on that one and let's do a storm track on that thing. We might even have to go to the Columbus, Mississippi next rad. This one will impact parts of Franklin and Lawrence counties and that's why it's important that we zoom in on it. We've also got a little bit of rotation showing in storms that are up here around Littleville and Russellville. Uh, those are not extremely strong right now, but it's something that we'll have to watch closely. So let's put a storm path on that storm that's coming up out of Hamilton. Uh, this one 
Unfortunately, Hackleberg, Phil Campbell, you may be in the path of this. Uh, and again, remember, these things can wobble just a little bit to the left or to the right. So uh, we are uh, going to be watching it very closely. If it stays on the current path, based on the track from the National Weather Service and the track from Armor Storm Vision here, uh, we go 17 minutes till it's in Hackleburg, about 30 minutes till it's in Phil Campbell, and then uh, Russellville, it shows 34 minutes until it's to you, but that's because you're right on the northern edge of it. Uh, I really think this will be more of a southern Franklin and a southern Lawrence County storm. Uh, that is a very, very well-defined hook echo that's just north of Hamilton. If you're watching us in Marion County around Hackleburg, or Bear Creek, you need to be in a safe place. Just get down as low as you can and ride this thing out. Uh, tornado on Highway 78 west of Hamilton. Uh, that's coming up to northeast, and it'll be moving up uh, along Highway 43 in northern Marion County in about 10 minutes. Uh, so there you see again Pierce's Mill, Hackleburg, uh, White House, about 16 minutes until it's in Hackleburg, about 27 minutes to Phil Campbell, about 33 minutes until it would be near the Posey Mill community. That's Posey Mill right there. Uh, so coming up this direction, tornado on the ground in Marion County that is going to affect Franklin County and Lawrence County. Look in northern Lawrence County. We've got a strong storm right there. There is no tornado warning on it, but uh, this is something we've got to watch closely. We've also got to watch that storm that's uh, hovering around Russellville and Littleville. Both of those are moving northeast, and at any moment, tornado warnings could be issued on those. Uh, let's come back up here toward uh, Limestone County. And, Brandon, I'm going to toss it over to you. Uh, well, actually, I'm, I'm going to talk about uh, northern Lawrence County, that storm that Jason mentioned northeast of Town Creek. I'm going to switch back over to uh, live armor radar. And uh, on the high top radar, we've seen uh, some significant increase in the uh, rotational shear. That means that we're ta talking about the potential for tornadic activity is going up northeast of Town Creek near Rogersville. Let's turn on the, the velocities if we can. Actually, I've got to go back over to uh, armor. There we go. Uh, now, turning on the velocities. Okay, we, we most likely will have a tornado warning if this continues uh, very quickly uh, in uh, northeastern Lawrence County, north of Cortland, Red Bank, Totsi, once again, Rogersville. Uh, be thinking about taking tornado precautions if this is reissued uh, because this is, a, a, again, heading the, over the same path. This is the type of situation we're dealing with. Just because one storm, one tornadic or severe storm moves through your community doesn't mean you're going to be done for the day because this is one of those events that's just going to last on into the night on into the morning hours and possibly into Tuesday as well. So uh, something to watch very closely there uh, near Cortland, zooming in closely, that's our newest area of concern. Uh, again, no official tornado warning on that one. We're gonna watch it very closely. Hopefully it doesn't amount to much, uh, but uh, something to watch very closely as it moves again toward that tri-county area of Lawrence, Lauderdale and Limestone counties. Now further back to the Northeast, going back to the traditional reflectivity, which shows uh, more of the rainfall, uh, back to the storm, which is still, okay, new tornado warning now for that uh, storm down southwest that we are also watching. So we now have two tornado warned areas and another uh, particular storm that we're going to be watching very closely. Uh, yeah, that's the one coming up toward Hodges, Phil Campbell, uh, Dime, Posey Mill, South Russellville, especially around Russellville Airport. You need to be in a safe place right now. Brandon has swapped over to the Columbus next rad. And I'll tell you, there are two storms that look like they're concerning in Franklin County. One is just east of Russellville. The other is not in Franklin County yet, but it's going to be there soon. And that's this one. Uh, state troopers and storm spotters have reported a large multiple vortex tornado on the ground in western Marion County, close to Highway 78. That's Corridor X. And uh, that was moving northeast. Uh, that'll likely pass just a little north of Hamilton and uh, come up in the direction of Hackleburg uh, within the next uh, 5 to 10, uh, maybe as late as 15 minutes before it crosses the county line up here toward Phil Campbell. So if you're in Phil Campbell, uh, Spruce Pine, Dime, Posey Mill, and southeast Franklin County, you need to be in a safe place. In Lawrence County, around Mount Hope, uh, around Landersville, you need to be in a safe place too because that storm is following that, uh, that classic path across Marion and Franklin County. So tornado warning in effect for Russellville, uh, for Spruce Pine, for Phil Campbell, for Dime, for Hodges, area around the Dismals, Bailey Bend, uh, all communities north and south here on Highway 13 and Highway 43. You need to be in a safe place immediately. If that means a basement or a storm shelter for you, go there. If that means that uh, you don't have an opportunity to go to a storm shelter, then uh, hunker down in a closet or a bathroom or a hallway and just wait for this thing. We will give you the all clear when it passes by. If your satellite goes out and you still have internet, you can watch us on Live Alert 19. We are streaming on Live Alert 19, have been doing so for 
uh, going on about two and a half hours now. We've been on since almost three o'clock this afternoon. That storm, that is a very potent thunderstorm that's going to come across southern Franklin County. Uh, let's go back to Limestone and Madison counties. Now we're just going to jostle back and forth between the two and uh, make sure that you are up to date on the latest with them. Uh, the storm that's moving out of Limestone into Madison County is not as intense as it was, but there still could be a tornado up here close to Harvest. So we want you in a safe place. Harvest, places like Anderson Hills, all the way up to Tony on Walt Triana Highway, uh, Highway uh, 53 coming through Harvest. If you're around Sparkman High School, get down, get low. Uh, we've got uh, rotations showing up on live armor radar. We've also got uh, the storm path here that's going to take this up in the direction of Highway 231 around Hazel Green, probably just a bit north of Meridianville. So, Brandon, in fact, let's just go ahead and do a storm track and put the communities on here around Taft in uh, southern Lincoln County. You've got heavy rain. There may be some golf ball or baseball size hail falling there. The threat of a tornado is a bit south of Taft into northern Limestone County. Uh, this includes places like uh, Fisk and uh, even Magic Mile. That's up in Lincoln County. Uh, if it stays on its current path, that's where it would go. Uh, this is, again, the possible tornado right there, and there's the, the storm path taking it through places like uh, Magic Mile, Park City, Lincoln, if it stays on that current path, uh, Hazel Green, the northern edge of Meridianville, and there you see some of the times, 31 minutes until it's at South Lincoln Elementary School, about 29 minutes to Lincoln, about three minutes before it's at Tony. To the west, we've got another intense thunderstorm on the western side of Limestone County. That one seems to be wrapping up. I would not be surprised at all if a tornado warning is not issued for western Limestone County again. And considering that there's damage out here, if you know somebody that lives out here around Coxie and you have already checked on them once, tell them again. There's another heavy thunderstorm coming through, and uh, something may develop out of that very quickly. We'll have to keep a close watch on it. No tornado warning yet. Back to Franklin County. In uh, western Alabama, we have a tornado warning uh, for the area here in uh, northern Marion County and southern Franklin County. An intense thunderstorm with a, with a reported confirmed tornado on the ground near Highway 78 west of Hamilton is moving northeast into southern Franklin County, Alabama. Uh, that is a well-defined hook echo on that. Uh, there has been, uh, again, the con confirmation from Alabama State Troopers and from Storm Chasers that a tornado is down. It's moving northeast toward Hackleburg. If you're watching us in Hackleburg or Bear Creek or Phil Campbell, I want you to go to a safe place right now. If you're in Red Bay or Pleasant Side or Bell Green, this is going to stay south of you this time. Russellville, you're on the borderline, so we want you to go ahead and be in that safe place too in Russellville, especially the south side of town, uh, going down Highway 43 toward the airport and toward Phil Campbell. That on the same path uh, almost as the April 27th tornado that uh, came through uh, of almost three years ago, three years and one day ago. So it's a very, very similar path. If it stays on the ground, this will impact F uh, Phil Campbell as well as Hackleburg, potentially Spruce Pine, Dime, and Cozy Mill in southeast Franklin County, too. And down the line, it could impact parts of uh, Lawrence County and uh, maybe even uh, the northeastern edge of Franklin County around uh, Waco and Tharptown. But uh, there's Got to watch that wobble in the storm and see which way it's going to go for sure. That's why there's such a broad warning here that includes basically the southeastern part of Franklin County, all of eastern Franklin County, including much of the city of Russellville. Brandon Chambers. It was just a matter of time. New tornado warning for Limestone County. Um, it's uh, only Limestone at the current time, and this is for Rogersville. Near Rogersville, let's switch back over to live armor radar. That has the best view. Again, unfortunately, we're dealing with the same area where this torn previous tornadic storm uh, went through. Uh, so back over to Live Armor Radar. It'll come back up here in just a moment, but the new tornado warning is now moving uh, n uh, northeast of Rogersville. Oh, okay. Uh, we're talking about uh, northeastern Franklin. It looks like uh, Franklin County, isn't it? Is that what we're talking about? Okay. Uh, northeastern Franklin County there, and there it is. New tornado warning for areas uh, southeast of Rogersville. Uh, but uh, cur currently the uh, Rogersville area is not under the tornado warning. So we're talking about near Rogersville or 15 miles west of Athens. And the new tornado signature is uh, just west of Coxie. So it's uh, another area that's been seeing that uh, tornado uh, debris, tornado signature earlier is now moving to the northeast. Another storm is heading towards your area and it continues to move to the northeast. So that uh, new tornado warning runs until 6.15. And so be on guard once again, Athens, all these areas, Ripley and Coxie, go ahead and take your tornado precautions as well. And we're going to watch it as well for, with our uh, velocity signatures. 
and it's pretty tightly wound up. Coxie, Ripley, uh, near 72, so a lot of folks probably heading out to maybe do some cleanup. Not the time. Western Limestone County, a tornado most likely imminent or on the ground uh, as it moves to the northeast at uh, approximately 45 miles per hour. So we've been watching that one develop for some time now and it is officially now a tornado warning as it moves uh, into uh, southwestern Limestone County, eventually uh, toward Blackburn, O'Neill, possibly into Cartwright as well, west of Athens. So keep an eye on it in Athens. We'll keep an eye on it for you. Of course, we're, the things are starting to really unravel a little bit across the Tennessee Valley, so we're going to have to hop between storms and uh, watch a lot of radar sources, and we're not going to leave anyone unprotected as uh, more and more tornado warnings become issued over the next few hours. Jason. It is, Brandon. This is the strongest looking storm on radar right now. But uh, since you've already covered it so well, let's go to Madison County. There's a lot of folks wondering what's happening up here around Harvest. Uh, have not had a single report of damage since this thing has gotten northeast of Athens, and that is good news. Doesn't mean it's going to stay that way, though. The rotation seems to have tightened up a little bit up here in northern Madison County. That's on top of Tony. Uh, it's, <coughs> it's a little bit north of Sparkman High School and still moving in this direction. So over toward Hazel Green, you need to be in a safe place now. Uh, the city of Huntsville proper, not affected by this. Most of the city of Madison is not affected by it, although there might be just a fringe of the northern edge of the city limits that is technically in this polygon. Uh, the downtown area, Old Town Madison, uh, you're not anywhere near this. So if you're wondering if this is coming close to Madison or Huntsville, this is all in northwest Madison County. Tony Bobo Harvest, uh, Sparkman High School sits right there. Sparkman Middle School is right there. And there's our possible tornado sitting right over Tony at the Liberty Gas Station. That's about where that would be. Coming across uh, Wall Train, a highway, uh, the tornado may not be as big as it was back in Limestone County, but uh, based on the radar image there, uh, it does not look like it has gone away totally. Uh, there may be some significant hail falling on the state line just south of uh, Tennessee Highway 110. Uh, Brandon's putting on some of the roads here, Old Railroad Bed Road, uh, Wall Train, a highway just to the west of there, Sparkman Middle School. Tony, uh, Tony Proper, Pulaski Pike, I want you to be in a safe place right now. Coming on over here toward Ready Section Road, Charity Lane. A lot of these communities have been called out over the years, and this is another time that you're going to have to go through that tornado safety plan to be safe. This thing is coming on up quickly to the northeast. This line is uh, actually the flash flood warning that's in effect. The uh, other line, uh, this uh, red line that's kind of a box, that's the tornado warning itself. So we've got the tornado warning a little north of Sparkman Middle School, Tony, Bobo, Hazel Green, everything coming northeast over here toward uh, Highway 231. Uh, let's go over to Ben for just a moment. Yeah, right now we're just watching the chat at this point and seeing what's going on and watching northern Madison County and southern Lincoln County. It's a strong rotation there uh, north of Huntsville, uh, about to cross uh, Highway 231, 431. So we don't know anyone on that road there. If you're traveling through Hazel Green and Meridianville, uh, go ahead and find a safe place right at this point. And another thing we want to mention, we continue to get reports of some flash flooding out toward Rogersville and Town Creek, uh, areas that saw the heavy rain earlier through Lauderdale, Colbert, Franklin counties. They've, we've already seen two to three inches of rainfall. Could see an additional couple of inches, and there's more very heavy rain as well back to the south and southwest. Keeping a close watch on the uh, National Weather Service chat as well, and reports continue to come on in. A uh, tornado warning still in effect for Marion County. We'll have to watch that system as it tracks up to the north and northeast, and that could uh, impact our areas down to the south and southwest as well. And still getting more reports. Another tornado at Clements High School. That's confirmed by Lauderdale County EMA. So we have a tornado on the ground right there, Ben. Okay, yeah, yeah absolutely. I see it right there. And that's a uh, tornado emergency now. So Clements High School, uh, you need to go ahead and get in your tornado safety area right now immediately. All right, uh, thanks for that update. Uh, this is the area of most concern. Clements High School is right there. That was reported by Lauderdale County EMA. The tornado is now over Coxie. And this one is going to follow a similar path to the last one, maybe just a touch north and west of it. Uh, we've got uh, possibly large hail falling up here around Cedar Grove and Cherry Grove. Tornado right there close to Highway 72, moving toward New Cut Road again. Uh, so areas that were hit hard just about uh, 45 minutes ago, another tornado coming into that same region of Limestone County. If you're in Blackburn, if you're in Ripley or Coxie, O'Neill, 
uh, the Lintzville area out here on the Elk River. I want you at a safe place just as quickly as you can get there. Uh, there are a lot of communities that are out here that don't necessarily have names that show up on the map on the river, uh, but the river just kind of snakes around like that right there, right up through Lintzville. That's uh, essentially Lintzville is one of the communities on the river. So tornado possible, Lintzville Road, New Cut Road, Highway 72, moving toward O'Neill. There has already been damage done in this part of Limestone County. We've got another one coming through. This one doesn't look the same as the other one did, but uh, it, it doesn't have to look the same on radar to be doing damage. It just may not be the same exact type of storm. I uh, just got word from Storm Hunter 19. Our crew is uh, seeking shelter in the harvest area as this store, the other storm passes through. So let's go quickly and look at that one. Then we'll come back to Franklin County and uh, check on the situation for you. The storm is uh, coming up into Franklin County pretty quickly, but let's go to Madison County right now. Uh, the uh, tornado itself would be a little bit to the east of Harvest, and we'll watch the sweep line come around to here again, and uh, we'll get the, the data populated on northwest Madison County. Uh, there's the shear, a uh, very clear indication of a rotating thunderstorm. If you are in Harvest, you can come out of that safe place for the time being, but we've got another tornado back in western Limestone County that's going to come this way. Uh, so for the time being, you can come out of the safe place, but you're probably going to have to go back there with another tornado headed that way. Uh, this looks like it's wrapping up. Uh, we actually uh, may have some velocity aliasing right here, and what that means is the radar is actually seeing winds so fast that it displays them like they're coming from the other direction. So you have outbound and inbound, and this is an intense circulation that is now between Harvest and Hazel Green. Nobody should be driving south of Park City or north of Meridianville on Highway 231, 431 right now. Strong indication of a tornado is coming toward Hazel Green. Now, it may not come right over Hazel Green High School, but it could come close. So if you're in Hazel Green, anywhere in the city of Hazel Green, you need to be in a safe place right now. Uh, the hook echo on reflectivity is back down here. The rotation in the radar beam is right there. So that's a pretty good lineup, uh, the way that things are shaping up. So on Ready Section Road, you don't have any time left. You've got to be in a safe place. Charity Lane, you have second. Bobo Section Road, uh, especially east of, uh, say, uh, east of Bobo, east of Tony, uh, is just on the west side of Fisk and Meridianville, you need to be in that safe place, too. So everybody in Meridianville, all the way to the state line, to Lincoln County, you need to be in a safe place because this thing it means business, and it's moving up to the northeast fast. Elkwood Section Road, again, that's the, uh, the main drag there, Highway 231, 431, through the north part of Madison County. Don't be driving on that highway right now. In fact, you don't need to be driving anywhere. Ready Section, Charity, Bobo Section, uh, Kennard Mill Road, uh, the uh, any any streets in Hazel Green. We don't need you to be out and about right now. Jerry Hayes. Just uh, issued a new tornado warning, this one for Lawrence County until 615. Uh, they're looking at a severe thunderstorm right now that could produce a tornado. It was located near Leitner, about 13 miles southeast of Muscle Shoals moving to the northeast at about 40 miles per hour. Tornado warning, Lawrence County until 615. So we've got a lot of things happening. We've got a tornado warning for Franklin County, for Lawrence County, for Limestone County, and for Madison County from four separate storms now. Uh, Josh, tell me where Mike Wilhelm is before we take his feed and before we get away from this image. Okay, okay, let's find out where Mike Wilhelm is. We'll take his feed. Uh, and uh, Ben, uh, go ahead. I have some uh, damage pictures coming in from Hardy Road just east of the Clemens Fire Department. And well, I just sent those to the newsroom so we can get those up. But from what I see, there are several trees down and trees snapped as well. So when you have trees down, you can also see, and we'll show these in just a few minutes, the tops of the trees are leveled off and they're also snapped. And when you have that, that's almost classic tornado damage. And we'll get those up on the air here shortly. But again, that's Hardy Road, just east of Clemens Fire Department. A couple of pictures there of trees snapped off the tops and also uh, broken in several spots. And it looks like there is some roof damage as well from a couple structures. All right, uh, thanks for the report, Ben. Uh, tornado warning for Franklin County. Let's start here. We'll work our way back to the east. Uh, Bill Campbell, Russellville, uh, the airport.
report, you need to be in a safe place now. A possible tornado is right on the county line, moving up in the direction of Phil Campbell. In fact, this is the Columbus, Mississippi next rad that we're looking at. I think we just saw the velocity from Armour. Looked like it was displaced a little bit farther up here toward the northeast. So if you're in Phil Campbell on Highway 43 toward uh, the Russellville Airport, uh, we want you in a safe place just as soon as you can get there. Hodges, Phil Campbell, Dime, Posey Mill, Spruce Pine, South Russellville. Safe place immediately. If you're from Russellville Northwest over toward Bell Green, this is not really impacting you. The possible tornado would be very close to Phil Campbell. There has been uh, multiple reports of, uh, of a large tornado in Marion County with that storm. So it's coming up into Franklin with a history of producing uh, some significant damage, uh, sig uh, significant tornado, multiple vortex tornado. This is coming up in the same areas that were hit back on April 27, 2011. On Armour, you can see the hook back here close to Hodges, so it's on top of Hodges, moving northeast up here toward Highway 43 at the Highway 13 split. Uh, and that's right there in the Spruce Pine community. So from Phil Campbell to Spruce Pine up toward the Russellville Airport, I want you to be hunkered down low in a closet, a bathroom, a, a uh, hallway, uh, pull the mattress off the bed, pull the blankets off the bed, put them over your head. If your kids have a motorcycle helmet or if you have a motorcycle helmet or a bike helmet, put that on too. That adds protection uh, from the uh, flying debris that might be coming around with this. And with every scan of armor, that thing is looking more and more intense. That might even be debris that's showing up there right on the county line just east of Hodges moving toward Highway 43. So again, Russellville, Russellville Airport, Phil Campbell, Spruce Pine, Dime, Posey Mill, Hackleburg, safe place right now. Let's go to Lawrence County. Uh, ben, before we go to Lawrence County, let's go to you. Piggyback off what you just said, law enforcement also reporting a tornado on the ground with that system you just talked about, Jason. So again, we're talking Marion County, Franklin County, tornado on the ground, law enforcement reporting that uh, near Grover Davis Road and Highway 187 in North Marion County between Hamilton and Hackleburg moving northeast at about 35. Okay, and here's our other tornado warning in Lawrence County. This is uh, a little bit south of Town Creek, but Town Creek, you're in the warning. You need to be in a safe place. Hatton, you need to be in a safe place. Cortland, uh, all the way up here toward the North Cortland, toward the paper mill and east on Highway 20 over to Hillsboro. We want you to be in a safe place as well. This ultimately could affect Trinity. So in Morgan County, you're not under a tornado warning yet, but if you're around Trinity, be watching out, uh, be thinking about where to go for your safe place. Tornado warning for that storm right there. The tornado is just a little north of Hatton, moving northeast in the direction of Cortland. If you're in Town Creek, Go to safety. Cortland, go to safety. Hillsboro, the same thing. Let's go to Limestone County now and work our way up. And while we're going to Limestone, let's go to Jerry Hayes. I just want to bring you up to date. Uh, the National Weather Center saying that they're getting a report from Hackleburg Police Department right now that there is indeed a funnel cloud just northwest of Hackleburg. That's coming from the police department there. And also they're saying that the uh, Madison County si uh, cell likely back on the ground because the latest scan is showing a definitive hook with a potential debris signature on it. While we're doing that, Jerry, let's just go ahead and go to Madison. Of course, here you see Limestone County, Blackburn, Ripley, Cartwright, O'Neill, Athens. Safe place right now. Let's go to Northern Madison County. We're just going to take this frame by frame. Let's not stay on one for more than a minute. Let's just keep going round robin. So you guys keep us on task over there. Uh, there's our tornado coming toward Hazel Green right now. We've been talking about this thing ramping back up in intensity, and it looks like it's done that potential debris signature here. Uh, Charity Lane, uh, anywhere around Hazel Green High School, I want you to be in a safe place now. Ready Section Road to Charity Lane. Be in a safe place, a substantial shelter. If you're in a mobile home, you have seconds to get out of that and uh, get into a ditch. That would be a safer alternative than staying in that mobile home. Uh, better, though, if you have a neighbor or, or, or a, a frame-built structure that's close by, there's our possible tornado on Ready Section Road, moving to Bobo Section Road and Charity Lane. It's literally just west of Highway 231, 431, and it will be crossing that just a little bit north of Hazel Green High School, if not right there at the high school. Uh, sometimes it's hard to know exactly which pixel on the radar the tornado is, especially when you're trying to look up through the south side of it, and there's already been a lot of rainfall between here and there. So sometimes it can be a little bit tricky to find which street the tornado is actually on. But anywhere in here, from Ready Section Road to Charity Lane to Bobo Section, Elkwood Section uh, to Carriage, 
North side of Hazel Green, you're going to get the tornado. South side of Hazel Green, there may be some strong gusty winds even without a tornado coming in. So safe place right now. Lowest floor of your house, interior closet, bathroom, or hallway. All right, let's go back to Limestone County. We'll just kind of take these one at a time, uh, piece by piece. Limestone County, if you're in Athens, you need to be in a safe place now. Cartwright, O'Neill, Blackburn, uh, and then this time, even the southwest side of Athens, between Athens and Tanner, you're close enough to this circulation that you need to be down low. Don't be outside watching it. Don't wait for it. The odds of seeing a tornado on a day like this where we have so much precipitation in these high precipitation cells is just tiny, and it's not worth it to be out there looking at it either. There's the strong rotation. This one may come close to downtown Athens. So if you're in downtown, the neighborhoods just south of downtown, down toward the Walmart, uh, down toward Zaxby's and Starbucks on Highway 72, want you to be down low, safe place right now. Uh, I-65, no travel on I-65 south of Elkmont or north of the River Bridge. We want, uh, we want Limestone County I-65 clear. Don't be traveling there. Don't travel on Highway 72 west of Athens, and then within the next few moments, you don't want to be traveling east of Athens either. Ben Smith. All right, Steve Duckett is reporting a wall cloud northwest of Athens. He's in the area right now, and some folks are coming out of their hiding place in Athens. Of course, you need to go back in there because you're still under a tornado warning, but this is a quote from a viewer. Uh, I came out of my safety bathroom. And I smelled pine and heard big things hitting her house before then. So we're talking about trees getting knocked over, perhaps debris falling from the sky. So those are uh, one of our viewers in Athens coming out of her safety place saying that she was hearing big things hitting her house. All right, uh, let's do this. Let's go double box. And if we can make sure, okay, thank you. Thank you for having armor in the double box. Mike Wilhelm is looking at the storm that is near Hazel Green. He's looking up Highway 231 in northern Madison County. So we're going to keep our eyes trained on that. And uh, in the meantime, we're going to take care of the rest of these storms too. We're going to make sure we take care of everybody equally. So again, this is, this is Lawrence County. That's Highway 20. The tornado would be a little bit southeast of downtown Town Creek on Blue Hollow Road. It's now east of uh, Alabama Highway 101, moving right up in the direction of Cortland. So if you're around Cortland, Cortland High School, Alabama Highway 35, I want you to be down low in a safe place. Jerry Hayes. We do want to pass along some information. We just got uh, our first confirmed fatalities with some of these storms that are moving through. Uh, Clarissa, I think we've been in touch with Al Whitaker. He has confirmed that we do have at least three dead in Limestone County. Yes, and Al is reporting that those fatalities, uh, two of those fatalities are from the Lehigh Mobile Home Park, and they're a, a separate fatality. The third is at a home on Sledge Road. He also reports that there's damage all up and down Highway 72. There's a mobile home park that has significant damage, and also we're get trying to confirm that there is some significant damage in Clements as well. And once again, we are beginning to get reported uh, damage into the newsroom, but uh, most important thing right now that we can do is get back to, to Jason and, and the other three guys to, to try to keep you up to date on what's going on. But we did want you to let, to let you know we do have three dead now in Limestone County. Not, uh, not the news we wanted to hear for sure. Uh, this is Franklin County. Uh, and again, let's try to stay on the schedule here where we're on one place no more than a minute or two because I know we've got a lot of people in a lot of places that are under the gun. What the, you're seeing over here on the uh, right-hand side of your screen, that is Mike Wilhelm's live stream. I, I don't think we have seen a... Oh, that's Kenny Duckett. Okay, that's Kenny. Uh, Kenny and Mike are uh, essentially watching the same storm, so we're going to keep an eye on that. That's northern Madison County. What you see here is Franklin County. Nick's Mill, uh, Phil Campbell, Spruce Pine. Get down low right now. A storm with confirmed tornado with it just moments ago is now passing north of Hackleburg into southern Franklin County. You need to be down low in a safe place just as soon as you can get there. Uh, this is Highway 43, Highway 13, uh, places like Posey Mill and Dime. You also need to be in a safe place because of this uh, potentially violent tornado uh, that may be coming out of Marion County up into southern Franklin County, Alabama. Uh, there's Hodges right there on the edge of your screen. Alabama 187, 
uh, Gravel Hill Road coming over here toward Nix Mill. The Dismals, uh, the Dismals Canyon, that's pretty much where the tornado may be right now. That's one of the locations that would be in the path. And then just northeast of there, this thing comes up across Highway 43 and Highway 13 uh, from Spruce Pine to Phil Campbell. Heavy rain and hail out ahead of it. Possible tornado just behind that. There may be a little period of calm before the tornado comes through. So again, in southern Franklin County, south of Russellville, that's where the threat of this tornado would be. Around Russellville Airport, the wind may be gusting really hard. There may be some hail and some very heavy rain. But this part of the storm is, is bad enough. This part may be a killer down here because we have a possible tornado on the ground near Nix Mill. Uh, that would be coming up toward the Spruce Pine and Hackleburg. And look at these storms lined up. This one's becoming more impressive in Lawrence County. The Limestone County storm, very impressive, and the one in northern Madison County. So let's go to Madison County. We've been watching that uh, on the live streams and uh, looking north, and uh, that is well-defined. We have a possible tornado on the ground uh, that, based on radar here, very close to the state line. All this right here is rain that is wrapping into the circulation, and it's an intense circulation. Uh, there has been some debris detected by radar up in this. So Highway 231 in Hazel Green, the tornado is now past you in Hazel Green. It's now past Bobo Section and Reddy Section Road on the west side of the parkway. To the northeast, though, Carriger Road, Mulberry Road, and then coming up here toward the Lincoln community. Just got a report there's already been some damage done around Lincoln. There's some trees down there. The thrust of this storm is coming right up that direction. So here's the Magic Mile. That's where all the lottery ticket places are. Uh, then north of there, you got Park City. So this is staying a little south of Park City. The wind in here may be very intense, though, even if there's no tornado happening where you are. There may be some strong winds uh, throughout the entire span on Highway 231 here. Old Quick Road, Mulberry Road, uh, that is uh, moving up in the direction of South Lincoln Elementary School. So if you're around the South Lincoln community, uh, around uh, Howell Hill, and then over to Vantown, there may not be, uh, yeah, I think there is a tornado warning now for Lincoln County. Is that correct, guys? Do we have a tornado warning for Lincoln? Yes. yes. If not, yes. yeah, if not, we should. Yeah, till yeah. Till so, so we've got the tornado warning in effect for Lincoln. The tornado is coming up here in the direction of South Lincoln Elementary School. So let's back out just a little bit. Lincoln, uh, the, the word Lincoln is essentially where the school is. It's a fairly small community in southeast Lincoln County. Uh, this is coming right toward you. So take cover now. Uh, Lincoln Road is uh, the road that runs right in front of the school. Uh, then you've got the uh, Howell Hill Community Center that uh, comes up this way. So uh, we've got a possible tornado coming right up in the direction of the Lincoln Community and South Lincoln Elementary School. Vantown, Flintville, and Elora may also be in the path of this. Northern Madison County, Southern Lincoln County, we've got a possible tornado that may be doing damage on the ground right now just east of 231 moving up across the southeast part of the county in the direction of the Lincoln community towards South Lincoln Elementary School, Vantown, Flintville, and Elora. Even though Flintville and Elora, you're not in the tornado warning officially based on the polygon, uh, you will be in that very shortly if this thing continues on its track. Let's go to Athens where we have a possible tornado. In fact, a confirmed tornado a few moments ago, even though this doesn't look the same as the first storm, there still may be some damage being done east of O'Neill, uh, close to Easter Ferry Road, Highway 127, Highway 31, I-65, the Alabama Fork community. This is coming right toward you. We may even have uh, strong winds that get into the west side of Athens and downtown Athens as well, but a strong indication of a tornado. Now from O'Neill on Highway 99, across Alabama Highway 127, just south of Elkmont. So this is passing Cartwright and O'Neill now, moving across Interstate 65, just a touch north of where the first tornado passed. So from exit 354 north to 361 at Thatch, you don't need to be on the highway at all. In fact, I would, uh, if you have the option to stop north of the interstate or north of that exit, uh, the Elkmont Thatch exit, just pull off right there if you listen to us on the radio. Same thing if you're coming north. Uh, don't come north of Huntsville Browns Ferry Road on Interstate 65. When you see that Huntsville Browns Ferry Road crossing sign, uh, just get off right there, pull off the highway. This is going to be north of you. Exit 354, that's, uh, out, that's U.S. Highway 31, uh, going down toward Athens State University and uh, Athens High School. So uh, this is a little bit north of there based on the rotation here, but it's broad, and that means a tornado could happen almost anywhere along that path. So if you're in the city of Athens, Alabama Fork, uh, even up toward Thatch, I would suggest that you go through your tornado safety plan now. Oakdale, you probably need to be in that tornado safety place too because this is going to come very, very close to Black Road and Huber Road. 
and uh, Cary Road again, just like it did about uh, about an hour or so ago. Down to Lawrence County, let's, uh, let's just kind of keep these fast paced and we'll move back down to Lawrence County where we have a tornado warning in progress. There's the Limestone County storm, there's the Lawrence County storm. It's on top of Cortland right now.